we cut it. Yes. And we had a little problem after we cut it because I didn't want to cut it again. I, mm, I, you see why I was shocked the first time? I'll just be honest with you. <laughs> I know that I give you a problem sometime. I apologize. All the time. Did you say all the time? You're watching Influence Me Wednesday with Morale All Things Hair. Hello, my name is Morello Kane. It's Morale All Things Hair dot media. The hair debates segment of loose strands. And typically with this segment, we will have um, our letter from our guest, but now we have the guest in the physical. And when I tell you um, I, who I have me here today is Miss Terry Ash. How are you, Miss Ash? I'm good, though. <laughs> <laughs> and so, because you guys are not ready. So now when I tell you, um, again, you know, when it comes to loose strands, it, you know, it's, it's personal. And sometimes we have the person here in the physical because they may want you to hear them, feel them, see them to understand their story. And so for, you know, you that would like to remain anonymous, that's quite all right. You know, submit your letters into um, contact at morellallthingshair.media. All right. And so now, Ms. Terry Ash, this story... You know, a lot of women have gone through situations like this, okay? Now, you know, a lot of you, you know, did see, you know, um, it to get a professional opinion's advice, you know, because the hair care provider could not advise, did not know what was going on. But then, you know, others blamed the hair care provider and were just like, you know what? I don't know what's going on. She doesn't know what's going on. I think it's her fault, so I'm going. <laughs> And so, with that being said, you know, Miss Ash is here today to, you know, tell her story and what has gone on. So, now, let me just say this. You know, um, she was actually serviced by a hair care provider for a number of times. Um, and so, now, we're going to talk about that service. We're going to talk about what she, what was going on in her life when her hair was at its healthiest. healthiest and then, basically, what happened. So you guys have to hear this story because, again, a lot of you can relate to it. So, Ms. Ash. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so now kind of walk us into what was going on with your life when it pertained to your hair prior to everything going on. Okay, prior to, what brought me to this point, um, as a little girl, I always had hair down here. You know, ponytails, I, had, I was a little pippy long stock, and mine is the pinned up on top of my head. Yeah. 
uh-huh, and then in the morning, I combed that bad boy down, and I was out the door. That was it. You know, that, I didn't want to do for no years. more than that. Yep. For years. For That's years. Right. Okay. And if it was a special occasion, I might bump it. You know, that was it. Hair down the back, you know, I mean, that was it. Yes. Um, I, was, was, I decided I was going to do the natural. I didn't want plenty more chemicals. Um, and in, in, in truth, I was trying to, to be more real with my granddaughter, who also has little bit of hair. Yes. And down her back, and I wanted her to never think she needed to put a chemical in her hair Beautiful. for to for the, for that flowing mane. Absolutely. Okay. So here we go. Now I'm, I meet you. Um, you can certainly attest that uh, it was your it was your mission to never let me put another chemical in my hair. <laughs> So you assured me that my long flowing locks, yes, you would be able to manage. Absolutely. So um, that's December seventeenth. We get into no, it must be sixteenth. December sixteenth. Mm-hmm. We get into December seventeenth. I mean January seventeenth. You know, we get into March. We come down to around Mother's Day. Yeah. I noticed that my ponytail got some little extra, some little baggage hanging on back here that should be up in the ponytail. And I called you and I said, uh, Miss Moran, did you, did you burn it? Did you, I, you what, what, what right? correction? Right? It wasn't a phone call. It was a deadly text. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let me, so let me just correct that. Deadly text. Okay, but you know you can get a text and read it however. But you, I knew it was deadly. Okay. 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 <laughs> so you know, because I'm, because I'm not noticing. You know, I'm, I'm just, you know, just was that something was. So you said you did suggest at that time that you could use what was not true. And you did suggest at that time that I go to a dermatologist. Me, busy, work, I can't get away, you know, that, that's the me. I, 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 life, I, life happens. It's, like, it's just life. Next thing you know, I noticed that my ponytail is not hitting me on the back of my back anymore. <laughs> you know, it's sort of scratching the face of my neck. And I'm like, that's not right. <laughs> My rap is not going around my head twice anymore. You know, short rap. What happened? Yes. Now I'm calling you like this. I'm crying. Yes. You know, I, I can see. I can Miss see daylight. New York. Yes. Miss Miss New York. Yes. I can oh, see daylight Trust through my you. hair. That has never happened in my life. Yes. So something was clearly wrong. Yes. I go to a dermatologist, and as it turns out, it is what Mother Nature. Mother Nature always got something for you. Mother Nature said, okay, not only did I give you 40 pounds for that particular birthday, yes. now I'm going to take your hair. Yes. And she did. Yes. And my hair was so dry and brittle, when I would do this to my long, luxurious locks, from the gold, uh, goldie, what's it called? Gold, Whoopi Go, Goldberg. Whoop, yes. That long, luxurious hair. Yeah. Yep. It would come out of my hand like I was a cancer. You know, wow. Like I was going chemo. So, okay, so now let me tell you now, and when I started servicing her, seeing the hair, being down, as she stated, being very proud of her hair, she took care of her hair, you know, and she told me, you know, I've taken care of my hair, my sister has always taken care of my hair, and her hair was healthy. When she sent me the picture, if she could have seen my face Uh. on my end, and I was just in a state of shock. Okay, because for me, I was like, okay, how did this happen? How did this happen? Now, I started seeing some things, and again, as I said before, yes, I advise her to go to a dermatologist, but again, life happens. And so, when she sent me the pictures, I'm in a state of shock. And so, I said, okay, you have to come in. Because I, one, I have to see this with my own eyes. Well, I was coming pretty regularly. It was coming pretty regularly yes. at the time. I, you know, it, like you said, I took care of my own hair. I, wore, I, didn't, I didn't feel I had to come to you every two weeks to wash my hair. I could wash my own hair. Neither that's right. what you were doing. Okay, but when, when I used to wash my hair, my hair would cover the sink. It, it, but by this point, by this point, my hair wouldn't even reach the drain. You know, wow. so I, I clearly freaking it, out. It, I remember, remember I cried, called you crying. That, yes. More than once. Um, I get to a dermatologist. I said I, I thought it, it was a, a lack of a hormone, whatever. Lack of hormone. Hormonal. Yes, See, that's the thing. Yes, menop- menopause. It, it is an ugly ass word, but that's what it is. It's that, menopause. Yes. Right. And 
and if you live long enough, you get chip chip. Yes. Um. So the menopause, uh, the, the lack of the estrogen, took my hair and made it very dry for me. So the dermatologist was giving me injections of something I can't remember what it was, but and, and I can't say that it did not work. But what I can say is that I didn't like it. It hurt my hair. You know, in, 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 in spots where I was. It's, it's uncomfortable. Hair. You're getting shots mm -hmm. in your head. Okay. So I opted to go. First of all, let's back up. Well, no, I opted to go with the vitamins, and uh, this is the biotin. This is, um, it is, it works, um, and um, it is 5,000 milligrams per pill, so it's two pills, 10,000 milligrams once a day. Um, this is what I get from the dermatologist, the Viviscal, you can only get it from your dermatologist. Yeah, you can't get it over the counter. Um, this is to help my hair on the inside. Absolutely. to make it stronger. And this is to give me back my shine and make it not as brittle on the outside. Exactly. And um, as you can see now, my hair is no longer down my back. Okay, well, and, and so now let me just say this, just to kind of explain the transitions and what you basically went through. And so you came, we assessed your hair, mm -hmm. and so she went ahead and immediately scheduled an appointment. Like I said, okay, so now she goes to the dermatologist. So now here's the thing. When it comes to hair growth, again, when you have these type of issues that happens on the inside, that's hormonal, you know, again, it's the F her, um, estrogen. estrogen. Okay, and so now when you have those type of issues, you have to understand that you cannot run to your local beauty supply store. The hair care provider cannot pull something from out of her, um, her cabinetry. There is nothing that you can put on that hair on the outside that is going to correct this issue. Please hear what I am saying, okay, again, because what do we do? We go first and foremost to Dr. YouTube, okay? We go to, Dr. <laughs> <laughs> we go to Dr. YouTube, we go ahead and contact the hair care provider and insist that she, you know, give you an answer immediately understand that a dermatologist is our specialist and so as in our own realm what we should do is refer you because again as any doctor and we are doctors of hair okay but again when it comes to something that this severity you must see okay a specialist and even though we specialize in what we do caring for the hair but when it out when it exceeds that then you must go to um, a dermatologist which again is our specialist and so going to the dermatologist what they advise her is that now we must get your body inside balance basically get it balanced okay and then start repairing her hair from the inside out okay so now let me just say this because as hair care providers what we don't do is partner with dermatologists mm -hmm. we don't and so in, in the benefit of partnering with the dermatologist is one is contacting her because let me just say this. You did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. I have to give you that. When I went to the dermatologist, I told you all about it. I told you I was going. You, you, you insisted that I go in the first place. Yes. So I found one and um, you drafted a letter to my dermatologist. Absolutely. I mean, I was like, okay, let's like, go like <laughs> magic. to where I went on 
again, she was destroyed. And so, and understanding so, this is her hair. For, okay, now, I had someone from my family to contact me. And she was just like, you know, well, can't you just get a wig? Why, well, why are you a, just tear her to get a wig? And I'm like, she's not that one. Not me. Y'all know I'm a rocket. <laughs> okay, I, I wear rocket short, long, yeah. different colors. Yeah. I don't care. That, but that's my real. That's, that's what I do. You offered me a, a protective style, which um, was what? Uh, um, it, it, it was a wig. A crochet or something. Either was, one, a crochet, yeah. or either two.
was Mother Nature's stress, you know, I mean, things so happen. Many you know, a bad trip to the beautician, a bad beautician, you uh, can lose your hair. Absolutely. Listen, I know I'm not the only one, but it, it, was, it was, was so brand new to me. I mean, for me not to be able to slap a ponytail in the back of my head and keep it moving, that was yes. all brand new.